thanks for agreeing to talk to us again, Mayor Lang. Absolutely. Uh, regarding the next two years, what do you see as being the the major needs in front of us as a community, and uh, and your plan to, to tackle them? Well, I, I want to. Uh, you know, it's funny. I want to continue to move in the areas that we have: uh, public safety, neighborhood revitalization, education, and economic development. And. Uh, work very, very hard in all those areas, but I think an awful lot of the groundwork that we've been laying is going to produce uh, uh, some real tangible results, some very, very uh, key successes. I think we've had a lot of success in, uh, in, laying, you know, in laying out a fiscally stable city and, and uh, you know, a safe city, uh, making sure that people understand that we really are very uh, engaged regarding education and that uh, you live in New Bedford, you've got to pay your taxes, and if you don't, then unfortunately we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to take uh, the property and put it back into the system. Uh, so we have economic development. We have uh, you know vital uh, neighborhoods. But the fact is that I think uh, this this go around going to pay very very close attention, obviously, to the super eight, uh, superintendent search. Make sure that our schools are absolutely uh, poised to become the best urban schools. Uh, and then the other thing I want to do is uh, make sure that our job creation, this economic development does two things. It gives you a great tax base, but more importantly, it provides jobs. And that's, uh, we need jobs for our, for our uh, citizens. We need living wage jobs with benefits so that you can grow your family here. And that's something that I'm really going to be concentrating on greatly. Now, can the city of New Bedford uh, be, a, be a, a bellwether for jobs in the United States? I'm not sure, but I know if I get the help of the state and federal government, the state and federal government, uh, then I think we can really make some uh, tremendous strides. We've got the best location in the state. We've got a tremendous workforce. We have all, uh, all these uh, different uh, uh, institutions of higher education coming together uh, to educate our young people. In fact, we're going by one right now, BCC. And uh, I believe that we can uh, make some real headway regarding economic development job creation. The other thing is that I'm going to push very hard on the train. That's something, you know, from an economic development standpoint, that's uh, crucial to our area. And I think that we can come up. Hey, how are you? Good, good, nice to see you. I think we can end up with, uh, uh, you know, a plan for the train that gets it a lot quicker uh, than uh, we had previously imagined, and a lot cheaper than we imagined, and uh, will link us with, with uh, you know, points north and east. So I'm excited about that. I also think the governor is going to uh, make New Bedford a key, a key uh, urban growth city, and that and that is the first time we've had that in a great while. So. I'm looking forward to working with them. And then also, something that's lost on everyone, is we'll have a national election coming up. And uh, I believe that New Bedford will be poised to take uh, advantage of that as well. You know, regardless of whether it's a Democrat or Republican, I think they will understand that the uh, cities and the urban areas of America are vital to keep, New Bed uh, to keep the United States as a number one uh, democracy and power on Earth. And I think a place like New Bedford is a, is a prime example of being able to come up with the solutions to solve urban problems. So I'm very enthusiastic about the next two years. Uh, the watchword will always be honest and open government. The watchword will always be integrity. The watchword is always going to be including all the people from the ground up. Uh, but I'm very, very enthusiastic about the next two years.